The Voice of New Europe. That's the title of Ukraine Today's new manifesto, unveiled during a ceremony in Kiev. Presented, there was the channel's new International Supervisory Council, tasked with ensuring the highest standards of journalism and freedom of expression are adhered to. Its members all have a proven track record of dignity and dedication to democratic rights and freedoms. Their position is honorary and unpaid. One board member is Bogdan Nehailo, an experienced journalist and senior UN official for the past 20 years. He explained the main qualities a broadcaster such as Ukraine Today should have. I think that uh, it needs to be creative in its approach. It needs to have the right marketing strategy to find its viewers and to interest people. But first and foremost, it needs to build up credibility and uh, through accuracy and objectivity. Informational warfare in Russia and Europe has become a key tool used by broadcasters and governments to influence public opinion about events in Ukraine. However, media analysts warned about attempting to combat propaganda with more propaganda, but instead urged that Ukraine today should focus on professionalism and quality. They don't want to watch provincial TV. They want to see professional TV, professional reporting. Uh, if you want to be an international player, you have to be seen as compatible, competitive uh, amongst uh, the international players. Ukraine today should speak the truth, uh, should speak the truth about what is happening today in Ukraine and to speak about lives uh, of average Ukrainians who are uh, now witnessing a very dramatic moment in Ukraine's history. The channel's management spoke of the need to promote the European values and principles embedded in the Ukrainian nation, which have blossomed since the 2014 revolution, with the aim of informing, uniting and influencing viewers around the world.